the rising. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Usually a big fuss is made if someone is rising up on a next level. For example, if someone in the career gets to a higher level and get new status symbols, might be celebrated, a big speech might be given, and so on. But for the most important rising, it is only reported in very simple words. Jesus, after he had lived on this earth in human form, after he had sacrificed himself, had been raised from the dead, and finally he went back into heaven, rising up to heaven, taking the throne next to God. But that is described in very simple words, Acts chapter 1. He was taken up to heaven as they watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. In simple words, but what a triumph. He has all power. Are you joyful about that? Or maybe some clouds are hiding that, clouds of doubt or dust cloud of science, of common sense, what other people say. To believe means to look through the clouds. To believe is not a feeling, but it is to stay closely with the Lord as he stays close with us. It's a relationship with Jesus. Do you know him? Not only from teachings, but as a personal Lord. We can be joyful that he who has become our brother, our savior, at the same time, also is filled with power, with might, next to God, together with him in one to be the ruler of the world, of all the universe. God is the creator of all that is, seen and unseen. And he also wants to help us. We do not deserve to enter his kingdom. We do not deserve to go there. We have no right and no way. But Jesus has bridged that gap. He invites us so that we can be changed, can become different, can finally come to his kingdom. Acts chapter 1. Jesus, before he was rising, he told to the disciples, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be filled with power, and you will be witnesses for me in Jerusalem, all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven as they watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done, that you have come into this world to save us, to bridge that gap. By ourselves, no matter what we try, no matter what technology will bring in future, we will never find a way by ourselves to enter into your kingdom where only holiness is allowed to enter. Where no sinful behavior, no wickedness, no evil can enter, no envy, no wrong. But you have bridged that gap. You have come into this world in order to enable us to enter into your kingdom. May you fill us with your Holy Spirit to change us. That finally, we may also be rising and live to your honor, to your glory and to your praise. Amen.